On this video on Up on Tracks, I want to talk about the Hungarian partridge, or also known as just the Hun. The Hungarian partridge was brought into the United States, invasive species, between the late 1800s and the early 1900s. It's kind of an incidental bird, but when people tend to go hunting for pheasant or quail, they end up shooting a couple Hungarian partridges. The Hungarian partridge can be found in Iowa, Minnesota, Montana, North and South Dakota, Nebraska, Oregon, Utah, Washington, and Wyoming. It's not a very big bird. The bird ranges from 11 to 13 inches in length and weighs roughly 16 to 17 ounces, so give or take a pound. It tends to be a prairie or a flatland bird, so where you typically find your pheasants and your quail, you're gonna find your Hungarian partridge. Here's a couple pictures of the Hun, so you know what it looks like. Now the two states that I picked to hunt, or to attempt to hunt the Hun in, is Montana and Iowa. So let's start out with Montana. Montana's Hun season runs from September 1st to January 1st. The bag limit is eight birds, and the possession limit is 32 birds, just like Every other upland bird in Montana, the hunting license you're gonna need to get to hunt them is basic hunting license of $15 and upland game bird hunting license that's gonna cost you $110. Here is a hunt distribution in Montana. Now let's talk about hunting the hun in Iowa. Iowa's hunting season for huns runs from October 10th to January 31st. There's an eight bird bag limit with a possession limit of 16. You've got to get yourself a combo hunting license to be able to hunt huns in Iowa and every other game bird. You need to obtain a hunting license and a habitat fee combo, which is going to cost you $144. Now here's a picture of 2018's huns distribution in Iowa. Seems like they conjugate more towards the eastern side of the state. Now it is scattered throughout the state and I'm sure you can find it in other places, not just labeled on these maps that I've been putting on here, but these are just the typical spots that you should be able to find them. Now when you're hunting the Huns, just like a lot of our other game birds, is you're going to have to put some miles underneath your boots. But the positive thing about it is, is we can hunt other species while we hunt these. Just like if we're hunting pheasants and sharp tail in Montana. Now you got to be careful, like I said in earlier videos, is find out if they're in conjunction with each other. So if you shoot a sharp tail, does it go towards your prairie chicken bag limit. So likewise in the state of Iowa and the state of Montana and every other state that I've labeled is you have to look online, find the regulations and make sure you know before you go out and hunt. Don't get busted. I want to thank you guys for continuing watching these videos. I hope they're interesting for you. So next video is going to be on my favorite, the ruffed grouse, the king of upland birds.